We just got dropped off in the middle of an abandoned city and we're gonna spend the next seven days here. And there goes our only way out. We are now stranded for the next seven days. Why are we doing this? For content. This once beautiful city was bombed and abandoned because of war, which means the only people here are us and our cameramen. At least that we know of. So I guess we start off by getting off the roof. But we knew that our first objective was to explore this city and find a safe place to call home for the next seven days, which starts with exploring this building. All right, let's see what's down the bottom of this building. I assume under this wood is a floor. Only one way to find out. All right, Whoa. this is crazy. I feel like I'm in a zombie apocalypse. This is wild. Oh, look at this. And after a little more exploring, we stumbled across an area that might work for our shelter. Oh, oh my gosh. I think this is where we should set up camp. You can see the entire city over here. Plus, we have a roof to protect us from rain. Wow. And now that we had our home base decided, the next step was to open up the supply crate left by the helicopter on the roof. Let's pop open this crate so we can build camp. We need some gear. Oh, whoa. Oh. This crate contains all the survival gear we'll need for the next seven days. And so we don't have to carry stuff all the way down the stairs. We're just gonna drop it. Oh. Chandler! We have a perfect assembly line. Chris, it's raining sleeping bags. <laughs> Chandler, there's our dinner plate. Hey, Chandler, don't let it fall. Chandler! Yeah! That was the coolest thing we've ever done. But jokes aside, it was time to actually start surviving now. Who wants fire duty? We'll get it. We're on bed duty. Chris got started on making a fire with Mark. I'm personally a fan of the log cabin when it comes to fires. Eagle Scout, did I mention that yet? While me and Chandler looked for something to sleep on. This is what mattresses were like 100 years ago? Wait, you found a mattress? Yeah. Where? On the second floor in the corner. <laughs> That's all you. Thanks. You should wrap that thing in a tarp so you don't get destroyed by bugs. I'm gonna wrap that mattress like a burrito. And while Chandler took his chances with a sketchy mattress, the rest of us decided to sleep on wooden doors. There's no shot that you're more comfortable <laughs> than me right now. Oh, uh, my back already hurts. There are so many buildings we have yet to explore in this city. Tomorrow's gonna be insane. We'll see you in the morning. Even though our first day in the city went pretty smooth, something eerie did happen to occur later that night. While we were sleeping, Mark and some of the camera guys woke up to the sound of breaking glass not far from the camp. Which made us start to wonder if we were really alone inside this city. What was it? I thought I saw something. But on top of the freaky noises, this shelter was way too windy to sleep. How'd you guys sleep? Bad. So in pursuit of better sleep, we got up, got breakfast, and got prepared to find our new shelter. I mean, this is the first time I've had chili for breakfast, but I'm so hungry, I kind of don't care. As well, since the raft. When have I ever been this excited over canned chili? I think my brain tried to forget about that, thanks. So after a nutritious breakfast, we took off our drone to seek out a new shelter in the unexplored buildings. We haven't explored that building. We haven't explored those hotels. It is an actual city here. However, upon scanning the buildings, we did stumble upon an unexpected guest. There's a cat! There's a cat! Down there. I'm gonna land the drone right beside the cat. Oh, here comes the oh, 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 look at that shot. Oh, yeah. Chris, Chris, look. Oh, oh it's sniffing the camera. This cat has like no survival instinct. I promise we are not paying this cat to be an actor. As fun as playing with these cats is, we need to focus on shelter because it's gonna be freezing tonight. And so we started our journey to find a sufficient shelter for the challenge. Ooh. Wait, what is this? Whoa. This is Whoa. pretty. It just has this type of like aesthetic to it that is like beautiful even though it's ugly. Zombie apocalypse aesthetic. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Wait, is that a pool? <gasps> wow! What the heck? This is so eerie. Back in the day, this used to look something like this. And after decades of rotting from being abandoned, this is what we're left with. Wait, there's a soccer field? The sport court! Whoa. Is that a soccer ball? I almost died. I bet this soccer ball is older than me. Me older than all of us for sure. Well, besides Mark, he's old. <laughs> we have two options now. We can keep exploring down this cool looking tunnel and go check out the neighborhood. Or with the hour of light we have left, we can prep for nighttime and not freeze all night. Not freeze. That sounds like a good idea. I agree. And after spending the entire day looking for a new shelter, I just can't get over how massive the city is. We finally found a place fortified enough to call home. So we don't freeze tonight. We're thinking of setting up camp in this room right here. We'll have a fire pit right here. We can tarp the wall right there. It's gonna be comfy. Yeah, Mark's gonna do all that. 
I said we. The only hard part is, come over here. Our current camp and all our gear is all the way over there. I hope this place really works out because it's going to be a lot of effort to set up. With the sun getting low and the temperature rapidly dropping, we made our way back to the old camping spot and packed up to settle into the new base. We're heading to the new campsite. The new camp. The new camp. The new camp. Okay, we got a lot of cleanup to do to prep this for tonight. This looks like a terrible place, but whatever. And after finding a more weatherproof base, we spent the next few hours dragging in as many of our belongings as we could before sundown. And because it got dark so fast, we couldn't bring all of our resources to the new base. So aside from one water bag, cans of chili, and a couple old mattresses, this is all we had. What does everyone think of our new place? I like that there's no wind. It's much warmer. Can What? It was now the third day of seven doing this challenge. And once we got up, we continued exploring. Be careful. These stairs are actually steep. On this whole staircase, three of the stairs are normal. <laughs> this beach is nice. It actually smells like the beach. It's because it is a beach. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but not too far in, something strange happened. Can you guys see someone? What? Or don't you see that reflecting thing over there under the stairs? Oh, I do. Jimmy, remember how we almost died the first night from glass bottle attack? I wonder if that's where the glass bottles came from. It was in this moment we realized we actually weren't alone in this abandoned city after all. And once our cameraman spotted this mysterious person on our drone, we did what anyone else would do. Let's go check it out. Investigation. That building is sick. Why is this mansion beside this giant motel? Decades ago, this hotel stood as a first class vacation resort. But years of war turned this once picturesque property into a city of ruins. Let's head on in. What did we just get ourselves into? We totally don't wait for the cameraman to walk in the room before we go in. Anyways. Oh, it's getting dark. Everyone stop, stop. Candy. We should go in there. I'll go first. Okay, thank you. You think it's a Feastables bar? What the heck? This is starting to get very eerie. And I think Mark should go first. What? <laughs> Look at how deep this hallway is. Also, if you fall over here, you might die. There's a very non-zero chance somebody could be in here and like attack us. If someone attacked us, what are we doing? Every man for himself. Yeah, whoever's the slowest just dies. Whoa, what's that like? <gasps> Hello. I'm creeped out now, guys. We spent the rest of the day searching for the lurker. But once it started getting dark, we could only hope that later he wouldn't be looking for us. And now that it's dark out, here's what we've actually been waiting for. Give me Big Bertha. Thank you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Big Bertha. Notice how you can't see that building over there. This is the world's most powerful flashlight. Whoa. Now you can. Bro, I bet the fish in the ocean are tripping. <laughs> oh. It stopped working. How the mighty have fallen. <laughs> no. The pluses of our actions is we got to play with the world's strongest flashlight at night. The negatives of our actions is now we got to walk back in the dark. <laughs> that was bad timing. It's way scarier going through this place at night. Yeah, it is. thousand percent. This really feels like the world has ended and we're just like surviving. So to avoid being murdered in cold blood, we went back to camp. We're back at camp! Yes! I'll get a fire going. I'm hungry. There's literally only chili left. And so with the last of our supply here, we're feasting. Tomorrow, if we got some tables and seven chairs. And more food. That'd be awesome. But when we woke up on the morning of day four out of seven, we realized that we were already running low on supplies. Our bag of water is out of water. Do we have more? Point the camera at that roof. All the way over there. I wish I had more than 100 calories in my body to go get it. Nose goes. What does nose goes mean? Sounds like you're going. He's gonna need help. He can't carry it on his own. So Mark and Chandler set out to go all the way back to our original camping spot and get more supplies from the crate. Chandler and I run a side quest for water. This is a main quest. While they get the water, we don't want to be useless. We, I, I'm fine. I don't want us to be useless. So we're gonna go try to find a table and some chairs. But we didn't get very far before Chris got distracted. <laughs> Did we not know this was here? Jimmy! Yeah? I found a bike! That looks like a nice bike. Where'd you find that? In here. This is the coolest abandoned city ever. Having fun? I am. All right, I'm gonna go look for a table. Okay, let's go. How are we even gonna get the water out of this? Oh, it's heavy. The thought process is that this is a house. Okay. And what do people have in their house? Tables and chairs. Exactly. Wait, hold up. Look at this. Don't move. Yes. <laughs> it's a chair. <laughs> Mark Strong. A uh, little help here, Chan. This bag of water is over 100 pounds. And so my buddy Mark, being the science YouTuber that he is, had an idea to get it down from the roof more effectively. But... <laughs> Our rope broke. We need 
need stronger rope. What you're watching is real. Mark literally deleted half of our water. We got some bad news. Hurry up. Hurry up. The rope broke and all the water splattered on the ground. This was actually a very serious problem. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? More. Sorry. Don't worry, dude, we've got one bag of water left. Carry this one down, please. And now that half of our water is actually gone, the only possible way to complete this seven-day challenge would unfortunately be to send two of us home. So Chris and Chandler volunteered to leave the city, leaving Mark and I with just enough resources to make it the full seven days. Genuinely, I would be scared if we left Jimmy with anybody other than you. I think Aww, you got it. you guys. But before they left, we wanted to have one final feast with the whole gang. Now that's a feast of <laughs> Oh my gosh. Mm, my hair. <laughs> Yummy. Great melting point on the chocolate, Jimmy, if I may. If you've tried Feastables before, the ones that used to look like this, you haven't tried Feastables. Our brand new formula tastes so much better. Genuinely, go to Walmart, try Feastables, and tell me what you think. It's honestly way better than the old formula, but don't take my word for it. I just worked at NASA, so. <laughs> Well, I just had s'mores, so I can go to the boat now. And so we launched a flare to signal the boat, which was actually pretty cool. Bro, look how cool that looks. Wait, it's lighting up the entire city. But the not cool part is now that Chris and Chandler are gone, it's just Mark and I surviving in this city. I feel so lonely. It's the first day without our friends, but we're gonna make the best of the situation. Our objective for today is to upgrade our shelter. We're gonna put up tarps and windproof this room. We're gonna build a fireplace in here and heat it up. We're gonna find shelves and tables. We're gonna make this place look like a home. With some of the ideas we have planned, I might stick around till day 14. He's lying. And so we started exploring some nearby buildings to find furnishing for our shelter, which is when we found this awesome shelf, this little table, a massive carpet, and also this metal thing that was found by our camera guy. Whoa, look at this chair. That works still, man. Bro, that's comf. <laughs> I found a fake TV. We can make it look like we have a TV now. It's a good find. Wow, that's just so cool. It's like courtyard with the arches. Each building in the city has like its own personality. What can we do with these? We could use like a vent system like this combined with these. We can make a fireplace. Wow, and like actual wallpaper? We have wallpaper. What do we use it for? To make the house a home, Jimmy. It's like we went grocery shopping, but instead we grabbed a bunch of 30 year old garbage. Honey, we're home. We found all this stuff. Now we're gonna start decorating. We're no longer surviving, Jimmy. We're thriving. I like that. We literally spent the next four hours moving all of the rubble out of our shelter, which made us pretty thirsty. The water in these sacks tastes like trash. Which is why we all brought a circle water bottle, because you can put a flavor cartridge in it and make water taste good. This is my first time drinking a circle bottle. Delightful experience. You can determine the intensity. So if you're feeling really audacious, you can have level nine flavor. Or if you're just a wuss, you can have level one flavor. But try a six. Six, I'll match your six. That tastes awesome. Mm. Which flavor are you using? I'm rocking fruit punch because it's got energy. And you know what we need right now, Jimmy? Energy. That's right. Good thing Circle has our back. And now that we had been hydrated, it was time to start crushing these renovations. When everything's said and done, this room will be the greatest room in an abandoned city you've ever seen. This is our new shelf. All right, let's see how she looks. See that? See all that dust? Oh, isn't that satisfying? And now that the shelf is clean, we can use it to store food. For some reason, over half the food we packed is chili. And no one here likes chili. <laughs> that's the non-chili row. That's the chili row. This is the Feastables row, right there. Now we have a table to put our circle water bottles. Mark has a 22 ounce bottle. This is the 32 ounce bottle. And they have a metal double insulated bottle that you could get for free right now if you buy 10 flavor cartridges. What a steal. No, it's not a steal, it's free. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's gonna block a lot of wind. And with our new door in place, we also hung up this huge tarp, which will allow us to keep all the heat from the fireplace inside our shelter. Oxygen comes in, fire burns, sends heat in the room, sends smoke out. This is redneck engineering at its finest. And finally, after being cold for so long. All right. Look at that. And we have a fire. I can feel the heat coming out. We Jimmy rigged this up with like ruins from an abandoned city. Anyway, go to drinkcircle.com slash MrBeast or scan the QR code on his face if you want to order circle right now. This is the final room. We have plenty in the corner. We have our beds that are now smaller. Tell me this isn't genius. This is Mark's iPad in the TV frame. Obviously some nice lighting, a furnace that is heating up the room, a real table with chairs, and a shelving unit with the scraps of food we have left. And the dirty towel we've been sharing. This is survival. But just as our night was going so well, for the fifth day in a row, we heard broken glass. Mark, I'm right here, dog. What was that? 
Man, we are having such a good day, too. I want to go see who's upstairs. I'm carrying the knife as a threat, but I'm not going to use it. <laughs> hey, if you're up here, just come out. I want to be best friends with you. Are you serious you're not pranking me? Bro, I swear to you, it was not me. Hello? What is this? What? Oh my gosh. This is the most Mark Rover thing I've ever seen. <laughs> what the heck? You swore! So turns out Mark was pranking us and he was the one dropping bottles this whole time. I've got a remote control here, but no one suspects it. I can get in my sleeping bag and I can start launching glass bottles from the roof, freak everyone out. Oh my gosh. I thought I could trust you. Boom. Now that Mark's not pranking me, we re-rigged his contraption. Feast rolls me. Here you go. I'll take one. I got one as well. That's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it was pretty easy to forgive Mark because we only had one day left in the challenge. Good morning. Good morning, Abandoned City! Abandoned City! Abandoned City! It's so much colder out here than it is in there. Let's go back! It's now the morning of day six. All the modifications we did were phenomenal. And it was at least 10 degrees warmer. Yep. That was amazing. We slept incredible. Mark, on our last real day, I say we go have some fun. Yeah! yeah! Jimmy, is that a kayak? I know what we should do with it. Now someone can kayak in this pool. Me and Mark really did have a lot of fun. We played baseball, we played soccer. Mark even taught me how to skip rocks, scientifically. There it is! And even screaming at each other from different sides of the city. Mark! Mark! Let's throw things off the roof at the same time! Great idea! To be honest, doing all these kind of dumb things really did take our minds off of how lonely the city really was. Yeah! And by the time the final day of this challenge arrived, after cleaning up camp, we only had one objective in mind. Leaving this place and never coming back. Huge shout out to Mark. He didn't have to do this. He has his own channel, he's very busy. Here's his channel, I appreciate you. And let's get out of let's here. Let's go! By the way, I'm giving away $10,000 a day, every day for the next 15 days to random people who buy our new Feastables bar. Go buy the new formula, it tastes amazing.